Today we're going to talk about 10 foods that you can eat to make your hair healthier. Yes, you're going to have to step out of the bathroom and into the kitchen for this one because it's not just what you put on your hair, but it's what you put inside your body. Our hair grows a quarter to a half inch every month. And what contributes to that new hair growth is basically the foods that we eat. It's not just all the shampoos and the conditioners. It's a healthy, balanced diet. Salmon is basically loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, protein, vitamin B, and iron. And a deficiency in either one of these nutrients can result in dry scalp and dull hair. And we don't want that. So, add that to your diet. Dark green vegetables like spinach, broccoli, collards, peas, green peppers, and asparagus provide you with iron, calcium, an excellent source of vitamin A and C that your body basically needs to produce sebum. And sebum basically is responsible for keeping your skin and hair moisturized. It's your body's natural hair conditioner. Natural hair conditioner. Beans provide us with lots of protein, iron, zinc, and biotin. And if we have a deficiency in biotin, it can result in brittle hair. So, let's make sure we eat lots and lots of beans. Do you go nuts for natural hair? I go nuts for natural hair. Are you nuts for natural hair? That's good because one of nature's best source of sallium can be found in nuts. Sallium is basically a very important mineral that is good for a healthy scalp. Um, some other great nuts are cashews, pecans, walnuts, um, almonds. These are all great and wonderful for zinc. And But walnuts actually provide you with omega-3 fatty acids. And basically your poultry are your birds with the feathers. You know, we have the chicken and the turkey, for example. And they both provide you with a great amount of protein. And if you have a deficiency in protein, it can basically result into loss of hair, loss of hair color, and brittle hair. Yes, that brings me to a very important question. Which one came first, the chicken or the egg? It just so happens in my list, it is the chicken. But that question's neither here nor there because both poultry and eggs provide us with a great amount of protein. But eggs also contain uh, biotin and vitamin B, which are two great beauty nutrients. Whole grains are basically your whole wheat bread, your whole grain fortified cereal. They provide us with a great amount of zinc, iron, and vitamin B. So, make sure you have your cereal in the morning. It's a very good, healthy, Midnight snack. Try it. Yes, I know, oysters aren't a popular dish at the dinner table, but they pack a powerful punch of antioxidants. And that popular antioxidant that's found in oysters are basically known as zinc. So, so let's say if you're not going to have some oysters, you can basically substitute oysters for beef and lamb. 
Your low fat dietary products are your skin milk, your cottage cheese, your yogurts. Those are great sources of calcium, which is a great mineral that works wonders for your hair. And if you toss in some flax seed in your yogurt, you basically can give yourself an extra added amount of zinc. Or you can try walnuts for your omega-3 fatty acids. Great healthy snack. Carrots are an excellent source of vitamin A, which provides you with a healthy scalp and shiny hair. It's also good for your eyes. And that concludes our list of 10 foods to eat for healthy hair. I would like to leave you with a note for those of you out there that have thin, fine hair, no matter how much you eat or what you eat, you will never have thick hair. Never ever have thick hair. So stay away from all of those supplements claiming that they will thicken your hair. Stay away from all of those products that say, you know, your hair is going to grow faster if you take this product or it's going to grow thicker and long. No, 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 no. Those products, nine times out of ten, they basically backfire. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more exciting videos.